Okay, now, did you know that um, the media meanies are give, aren't are giving Obama credit? <laughs> I, I bet the left-wing liberal media bias pressure is... Agenda? Well, guess what? Who, who knows no agenda? Well, you better find out what it is. Plus, uh, yes. Plus, um, here's an, you know, yeah, Glenn Beck has some thoughts for those uh, occupied Wall Street people. Could be the war, war over words, war of words of over Wall Street. Well. Find out what it is, upper grabs, uh, and lots more. It's upper grabs, next. Somebody's gotta say it. This is the final closing type editor video commentary thoughts. Welcome to my final closing time for video commentary thoughts. It's me, Elish Music, and today it's gonna be You Know Who Tuesday, October the 25th in year 2011. And I got news news for these crazy people. For the media and what is occupied Wall Street is up to this time. So, up to this, they up to no good. Don't you think so? Well, I bet they're up to no good. Well, guess what? Glenn Beck has some words that he might ask about leading Wall Street uh, activist. And Glenn Beck is right. <laughs> this is worse. <laughs> this is worse. So, uh, why don't you take a look and watch this before it does make your head spin. So, so, uh, yes, man, and maybe this will answer your question about that. So, you just had to trust me about that, but who needs anyways? Anyways, so, um, here it is. Uh, show new evidence that came up last night uh, of a new conference from a leftist <coughs> radical that admitted, yeah, the only guy who gets it is Glenn Beck because he sees the potential of violence. Um, the left immediately tweeted and said, no, that, that, that's not what he meant. He tweeted back and said, oh, yes, yes, it is. People will be dragged out of buildings and killed in the streets. That's what he was defending. My statement that they have the potential to do that. He said it with glee. Yes, we do. Tonight, 5 o'clock, GBTV. Don't miss it. Ah, uh, now you might think it's so smart. Sorry about this one. Well, <laughs> well, well, here's your worst nightmare. Could be war over, you know who? Famous last words, words and uh, and uh, and here it is, according to Fox News Channel. And take a look and watch this after this advertisement. The car market can be a noisy place. Our solution: the 100% electric Mitsubishi I. At 112 MPGE, it's the most efficient car in its class. And who wouldn't like that? Learn more at i.mitsubishicars.com. Words brewing over the Occupy Wall Street demonstrations. House Majority Leader Eric Cantor and White House Press Secretary Jay Carney going at it. Cantor calling the protesters, quote, growing mobs. 
pitting Americans against Americans. And Carney chiming in, saying that, well, that's a little hypocrisy considering how Cantor refers to the Tea Party movement. Our power panel, KT McFarland, Fox News national security analyst and host of Fox News Live's DEFCON 3, Lise Wheel, Fox News legal analyst, and Judith Miller, Pulitzer Prize winning investigative reporter and author, and Fox News contributor, all join us on our power panel today. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. We should also add that um, Nancy Pelosi also expressed her opinion. Oh, she was actually Actually asked about what Eric Cantor had to say, and she as well disagreed with him and said that it's really just part of the democratic system. These protesters. Don't you agree with that? Yeah. I, 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 I agree, agree with that. that. Absolutely. Like, yeah. yeah. I it's mean, a no brainer. Let, let people go out and protest. We may disagree or agree. The only problem I have with them is I still don't know what the message is. But, mm -hmm. but they don't know they what don't the message is. Well, Judy, you, you wrote a piece right. um, that is right. in the uh, New York Daily Times. You live in this area. You went down there. You began by saying, you know, you go down, you ask five people right. what, why they're there, you get right. five different five answers. Different. Right. But what's wrong with that? You know what? They don't know what they're for. They know what they're against. And what they're mm -hmm. against is what we've had. And so the idea that Eric Cantor would not embrace these people and say, yeah, yeah, and Obama's to blame. The thing that struck me, yeah. they're in their late 20s. These are the kids who are out there working their tails off for Obama right. four right. years ago. They're not there anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. But is it a little hypocritical um, on Nancy Pelosi's part and others in that maybe they didn't necessarily show support for the Tea Party? Alas! Hypocrisy <laughs> <laughs> in Washington! I'm wondering. I'm just wondering. Yes. 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 in Washington. You know, of course they're going to complain about each other, but it, it's the bottom line. I think we all agree, left, mm -hmm. right, or center, right. you have the right to say it legally any way you want to say it. Just don't take up arms about it and do it legally. Get your permit. And the other thing exactly. is that the, all the American public will know. I mean, if, we, if we're being hypocritical, or if any p party is being hypocritical, yeah. hypocritical, the American public knows it. So That's let's right. just get out there and just say it. But yeah, I kind of would like if you could figure out what your message is, that would be good. Right, but they will. Yeah. You know, this is but a very, very, very scared. Yeah, yeah exactly. America's America's scared. Scared. And why not be nine, over 9% 9 unemployment? And for them, Real the young people, it's 15% yeah. right. to 20%. Mm -hmm. for the, for the kids, I would yeah. be angry too. And, and they see the people. They've gone to college, they've exactly. done everything they were supposed to do, and, and then it's not working. out there. Exactly. Right. Exactly. It will be right. interesting, though, to see if it um, maintains the uh, the shape that it is right now. And when we talk about them, um, getting a leader, it will be very interesting right. to see who becomes True. involved in the movement and takes control of it. And what happens when or the weather gets does. colder yes. and they yeah. have to be out there in those tents freezing. Right. That's, that's different. These are 20 something. They can do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, there's some things I want to say. Let's say about that because, uh, oh boy, about this war over words of Wall Street. Well, guess what? It has the, you know, battling between Eric Cantor and Jay Carney. Because because these Occupy Wall Street protesters are holding a sign demonstrating all that crap. Because it's, because it's a horrible thing to do and this is... Oh, I don't know why these, these kids... These kids doesn't want, doesn't want to learn about anyone else. I wish these kids would go back to school. You cannot protesting like that. You cannot protest holding them signs and signs like, you look, this is ridiculous. Occupy Wall Street is a horrible thing to do and this is, this is very, very stupid. And I don't like it at all. Trust me. Not by an inch. For, anyways. <coughs> and uh, finally, I got one thing to say, but those liberal liberal media pressures, it gets on my, you know, anyone else, it gets on my nerves. And, and why? Because, <laughs> talk about this, uh, you know who, that's right, that's right, um, they're talking about you know who, that's right, media, meanies, Aren't giving Obama credit? Uh, oh, really, huh? Well, what anyone else get civilized about you? Huh. You might think it's not fair. <laughs> Watch this; it, it will surprise you.
here's the president. He has done these incredible things. He killed bin Laden. He set off the Arab Spring by going to by going to Egypt and saying, tear down these dictators. And they did. He's ending the war in Iraq. He has fundamentally transformed our health care system in a way that, you know, it's going to take a few years to phase in, but we're, it, we are moving in the right direction, particularly when the waivers for the states kick in so that Vermont and, and Montana can do their single-payer systems, and, and, and I think that's going to go viral just like it did in Canada when Saskatchewan first did it. The president has done so many very good things. Yeah, he's, I don't you like his You wish, you, you wish, you wish. But look at this. These, 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 and, and the media doesn't even acknowledge it. The Democrats aren't doing a good job of messaging it. Oh, God. You know what? <laughs> Let me just say this before before we say goodnight. I hate to break this to you, but Mike, Mike Molloy, you are such a stupid liberal. You're, you're a liberal. What you could complain about? What are you complain about? You're uh, damaging the whole system about the media meanies. You tell me, it's, tell us not, it's not fair. Well, guess what? We conservatives could crush you, to crush you, Mike Malloy, and the rest of the liberal media, too. Because this has got to go. This has got to stop. <laughs> That's why you, Mike Malloy, don't have agenda. And so the rest of you, moveon.orgs and all that crap, don't have agenda. Because we, the conservative, conservative truth lives here. So be it. Period. Pure and simple, and that's all I can say. Now, no more words. If you don't like it, um, too darn bad. That will teach you a lesson. Anyways. Anyways, I gotta go. Yo. And, uh... Make sure you check check my website lhmusictimefactor.weebly dot com, and uh, and uh, and lots more because um, it means not to me. So I try to do my website and all that stuff. So I will post it later on today. If if it if it's said so. Trust me about that. Anyways, and don't forget to Facebook, Facebook me and follow me at Facebook.com slash LH Music Time. So it's Twitter.com slash LH Music Time. Like I said, check my website, LH Music Time Factor .com for my Time Factor website. So trust me about that. Anyways, we gotta go. Don't forget tomorrow. Two things that you don't want to know. Flip your lip. I don't know. Gaddafi's dead. And the other one is um, uh, you don't want to know. Trust me about that. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta go. LH Music America's Love Plus Ball Christmas is rid of his signing off, and we'll be, we'll be the real conservative key for the real conservative answers. And why? Because the real conservative, conservative truth has lived here. Trust me about that. Steve Bye bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>